Keep calm and pray the Psalms for Saturday, the very last day of the very, well, last week of Angel's Tide, the fifth week that is. Tomorrow is Sunday. It is still the 21st Sunday in Pentecost, but we will be celebrating here at Trinity the commemoration of the Reformation which technically happens actually on Monday, with all, which is All Hallows' Eve, or Halloween, if you will. All Hallows' Eve, where Martin Luther nailed to the uh, bulletin board of the day in, in his town, the, the doors of the chapel at Wittenberg, his 95 questions or theses, he really just wanted a conversation. And what he got was a revolution. And by God's grace, 505 years ago, well, 505 years later, we are still here, still asking those same questions. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 149, praise the Lord, sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the godly. Let Israel be glad in his maker, let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, making melody to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with salvation. Let the godly exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their throats, the two-edged swords in their hands, to execute vengeance on the nations and punishments of the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute on them the judgment written. This is honor for all his glory, all his godly ones. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You should not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray, and always ready to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour down on us the abundance of your mercy. Forgive us those things which our conscience is afraid. And give us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask, except by the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. So again, tomorrow, commemoration of the Reformation, we will have divine service. You please come. Come and celebrate with us the grace of God that he has given us faith in Jesus Christ, faith enough for the salvation of our sins. You have a good night. <laughs>